Well, hey, Cinco de Mayo is coming here. It will be celebrated on Saturday. And while tequila is made in Mexico, a Seattle-based tequila company kind of uh, putting a local Northwest spin on the drinks and on the food. Yeah, so let's check in with Ellen Taylor. She is uh, here with some ways you can actually cook with tequila. Yes, I had no idea that you could cook with tequila. The things you learn doing morning television, it's amazing. I've got Colt and Scotty here. They are from Papa Bueno Tequila. Again, the tequila is made in Mexico, but Papa Bueno, a very proud Northwest brand. Yes. And you two gentlemen are actually roommates. Mm -hmm. And you said that this is kind of what happens in your house often. Yeah. You cook with tequila. Scotty, kind of Absolutely. tell me, walk me through, like, is this appetizer, yeah. dessert, salad? and? Well, tequila in general can offer really great tang, and it can also mm. offer sort of a assisted cooking method. Okay. So I'm going to show you three recipes. The first is going to be a spiked shrimp ceviche. Oh. The second is going to be a drunk fruit, or some people call it a tipsy fruit salad. Tipsy and sounds more classy. The third <laughs> is a flank steak that's been marinated in a, what's called a margarita marinade. Okay. Um, so we'll start with the ceviche. Um, it has about a shot of Papa Bueno Silver Tequila. Is this about a shot? About, that's, yeah, roughly. That, that's a shot? Okay. Exactly. Again, I was told I that's can't drink shot. it, so, you know, um, I won't drink well, it. maybe later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, so, tequila, lime juice, some salt and pepper, um, and then in the mix, you have a tomato that's been seeded and juiced. Okay. Um, chopped up. Then we have some blanched shrimp that's been chopped up, and then some finely diced uh, both cilantro cool. and jalapeno. And then the, to finish it off, uh, when you want to serve it, uh, you dump in some avocado and uh, what's called fold it in, and then you dig in with the chips. We've, oh, yes. Fold it in like so. Bill and Liz, we got some for you guys. Don't worry, I'll taste oh, test it really to make nice. sure. I love, I love <laughs> avocados, <laughs> nice and fresh. And it's good to dig in with the chips. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's go over to the, so the tipsy salad. The, the side, the tipsy salad, yeah. as it were. Um, <laughs> That's all ready to go uh, without dressing, and it has pineapple, there's some watermelon hiding under there, strawberries, and garnish with some mint, and I'm going to show you how to make the dressing. Okay. So we're going to start with, this is three limes worth of juice plus three zests from the limes. I'm going to dump that in. So we're just putting this in like a shaker, a martini shaker? Yeah, I'm, I'm using the martini shaker <laughs> Perfect. to mix up the dressing. <laughs> Stick with the theme, guys. And this is a quarter cup of agave nectar. And then we're going to top it off with an additional quarter cup or two ounces of silver tequila. Now, I've been told that this is Colt's one and only job. This is all I do at home. He's very good <laughs> I stand it. by him and pour tequila. Done. <laughs> and, and we do sip a little while we're doing this. And then I'm going to forego pepper, but I'm going to do a little salt. Okay. And uh, zest up the flavors. Now, we have about 30 seconds, so I want to make sure that okay. we get that done and then talk about that flank so steak, too. Put that on. Oh, man. And then I won't toss it, but that adds a really nice sweet. And yes. Tang. And then again, the flank steak, and I'm going to do the marinade while I'm showing you. This is a margarita marinade. So we're going to start with about three quarters of a cup of triple sec. That's a lot of triple sec. That's a lot of triple sec. But that's a big steak. We're going to do an additional three quarters of a cup of tequila. Thank you, Colt, for the assist. <laughs> we're going to do a, a quarter cup of lime juice and then salt and pepper. And that's the marinade. And that's the marinade. And so you can leave that in. I mean, it's really powerful. So you could do it in an hour. I did this overnight. And that's going to have a really nice finish. And the triple sec sugar is going to caramelize on the crust. So Got it's going to be really good. Maybe you guys can give me these recipes, and I'll be sure to share them with you on Q13Fox.com. Uh, again, thank you, Colt yes. and Scotty. Papa right. bueno, te bueno Tequila. I promise I have not had <laughs> any to drink yet. Uh, Bill and Liz, back on over to you. Yes. <laughs>